I'm not driving, sir. Okay. You don't want to give me your ID? No, sir. Okay. All right, that's fair. Let's get the officer back here. You were getting insurance for my partner? Yeah, she, he, she's sending it to me. She's sending it to you? Yeah. Okay. Do you have it or no? Or is she? Yeah, she's going to send it. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Sounds good. Um, yeah, I was just coming up here to check for that, okay? Okay, no problem. Thanks. How you doing, Alex? How's it going? Good, how are you guys? Good. Alright, uh, you mind rolling down the other window for me, too? This one, too? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Hey, guys. Uh, the reason I'm going uh, to stop you and I'm also going to report that for the PD, the reason I'm going to stop you is for the suspended uh, license plate. Oh, it's suspended? Yeah, it's suspended. Oh, snaps. Okay. I don't mind you smoke my man, but just... It's air vapor. I, I hear you, but... It's air vapor. The same thing you're, you're breathing outside. Air vapor. It's not nicotine or nothing. It's air vapor. Alright, uh, sir, is this your car, man? Yes, sir. Alright, did you know the place was suspended? I didn't, but I, I can believe it because I, I forget things like that all the time. Okay. Do you have a uh, driver's license with you? I do. Are you guys up to this afternoon? Well, I conduct street interviews, and I picked him up from the shelter. Well, I did two earlier, and I just picked him up recently to conduct one. He wanted me to take him to the bus station. Sure. Yeah, so. Okay. What, uh... What company you work for? Or do you do that for? I work for Demo What company is that? Oh, you talking to him? Well, you, he said that he was doing street interviews. Street talk. Street talk. He said. Oh, street talk. Gotcha. All right. You have uh, insurance for the car? Um, it's. I would have to have my wife send it to me, but I'm sure. Yeah, it's it's under. I think it's progressive. Okay. So yeah. you, have, you think you have progressed? You still have any proof of that in the car with you? No, it's, it was, we got apps and stuff like that. I know my wife. I know had, here to no, I know my wife had it on the on the, on the app. Okay. Yeah. Is she able to potentially send that to you? Probably. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure she can. If you don't mind having her, maybe reach out to her and ask her if she can uh, send that to you so I can verify all that. Okay. All right. All right. Um, and, sir, do you have an ID on you by chance? I'm not driving, sir. Okay. You don't want to give me your ID? No, sir. Okay. Right, that's fair. You mind giving me your name? I'm not driving, sir. Okay. All right. And then I take it you don't want to give me your name then either? Yes, sir. Okay. Understandable. Um, where are you guys heading to right now? I was taking him to the bus station. I just picked him up for an interview. Sorry, to the where? To the bus station. I just picked him up for an interview. As you see, in my, you'll see, I can show you documented. My father do street interviews. I, I am nervous. You have me, like, scared nervous right now because the way I seen you earlier, like, as I was in the um, shelter area to pick, you know, talk to the gentleman, I see you kind of, you know, right past me, and then it's like for you to appear behind me, it makes me nervous. So you wouldn't notice me. I'm shaking a little bit. I don't, I don't, I don't get what's going on. The approach a little bit. That's me. It has me a little tense just to explain me. Yeah, and I'm just asking standard questions. I'm look at that, man. The reason I stopped you was because you're like, you're like, you're like yeah, I, yeah, I, I can admit that's probably true. Like I, that's how in the past has happened to me before. It's like I just I end up paying it though. Like, I, I could pay for it. Like, yeah, and and obviously that's you know an issue you got to solve with whatever jurisdiction ultimately has your license plate suspended, but you know, obviously if you're going around in town in Appleton here, you don't have, you don't have balance plates, you know, 
Yes, sir. No, I appreciate that. No, I, I, I get that. I can understand that. And again, me asking where you come from, things like that. Those are standard questions of, you know, crap stuff. I asked that of everybody. I didn't realize how, how, um, how far it is expired. They're not expired. They're suspended. Suspended? So if you fail to pay some type of... No, no. I, that's, no that's, that right there is... um That's what just happened just recently. I had a speeding ticket. Yeah. And they let me pay it in increments, and I paid it off like a month ago. Now, I've seen some... Something like this has happened before with a um a ticket I got, but if you um if you, yeah, it has to be someone you can call to see that it was paid off. It's like fully paid off. Or my wife can send you a, she can even pull up the receipts or whatever. And that's something that I can give you or verify on my end. That's really again whatever agency and I can I'll look I'll verify and tell you. They might be able to tell you why they're suspended. My place or my my license. Your place. Yeah, I my, don't know. How the license. how the place suspended? Driving, that's you know impossible. I mean? How the place suspended? Usually from unpaid parking tickets or from unpaid fines of some sort. Usually, but again, I I, I don't know. I'll, I'll look and see what I can see, and I'll let you know what I can what I can tell you. All right. Appreciate that. But uh, yeah, like I said, that's all. That's that's really kind of again, why I stopped you. Okay, no, I appreciate the right. explanation. I'm confused though because it, right away I'm registering like they're expired. Cause that happens to me all the time. Yeah. Like I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm not on it like that with the my wife is. And a little bit but, of, you know, a little bit of expired plates, like, not a big deal. You know, like, hey, here's a reminder, register your plates. But yeah. when it's suspended, that's a next level thing where it's like, hey, you did something, failed to pay a fine, something. Mm -hmm. It ultimately mm -hmm. cost somebody to have your license plate suspended. Yeah, so yeah. I get like, that. Yeah, yeah, I definitely get that. I can assure you, though, all fines are paid. I did, like, and a speeding ticket wouldn't have anything to do with a license plate, though, right? It would be me personally, right? I guess I wouldn't think so, but I, I can't say that for sure. I guess I just don't know. I don't yeah, because that's paid exactly off as what. well. That's the only thing I can re recollect, and that's paid off. It has to be some kind of confusion. Because yeah. these were connected to my truck, and I transferred them to my car when we bought this car. Sure. Okay. Okay. All right. Um,. If you want to have your wife maybe try to send you the insurance just so I can verify the car is uh, insured, I okay. appreciate that. Um, and then just question I got to ask, you know, anything in the vehicle I need to be concerned about at all, weapons, drugs, anything crazy like that? Nothing. Nothing? Okay. All right. Just uh, sit tight in the car. Like I said, have, have your wife, if she can, send you that insurance. I'll verify that when I come back up, okay? All right. All right. I'll be right back with you guys. A few moments later. Through all the chaos, I didn't get a chance to get your name, brother. What's your name, brother? My name is Pierre. Pierre? Yeah? Okay. Yeah. How you doing today, Pierre? I'm doing fine, man. You know, it's just a gloomy day, but everything is in God's will, so things gonna be better later and greater. So, Pierre, where are you originally from? Originally, I'm from Memphis, Tennessee, but Fox Valley area is my, my domain. Shout out Memphis, Tennessee, by the way. Shout out Memphis. Yes, sir. So, what, what do you do up here? Um, really, I'm an entrepreneur at this time. Um, since it's in the winter winter uh, season, I just been uh, working on uh, manufacturing, like a production line or uh, or um, shipping or shipping things in that nature. Okay, okay, yeah, that, they make some good money up there with production. Yes, sir. So, do you have any family in the area? Yes, I'm. Uh, I got uh, numerous family: sisters, brothers, uncles, aunts, a few cousins. You know, I, I really am the type of person that I'm family oriented. So I really try to not have too many friends, but I have a have a yes. circle now. Okay, hold on one second. I'm sorry, guys. We got the officer back here. You were getting insurance for my partner. Yeah, she he, she's sending it to me. She's sending it to you? Yeah. Okay. Do you have it or no? Or is she? Yeah, she's going to send it. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Sounds good. Um, yeah, I was just coming up here to check for that, okay? Okay, no problem. Thanks. Okay, where, where were you again? My bad. Um, just so I have a, uh, just a variety of friends. Not too many. Not too many. Okay. And... What about, what was your, how was your upbringing like? You had mom and father in the house? Yeah, um, father wasn't around as much. Mother took took the uh, responsibility to be both. and uh, But I had grandfather, grandmother. They uh, did a wonderful job. Gave me very good morals, very good goal, goals to set for myself. Made me stay mindful. Um, occasionally stay prayerful. 
during the thick and thin times, you know, the small trials and tribulations. So, you know, things in that nature keeps a person uplifted. So, yeah, I had a, a, a very good, good support team. I have a very good support team. That's dope. That's dope. And you got a relationship with your father? Yeah, uh, well, I'm at least, thank God, at least I know his name. So, okay, if okay. I ever want a child support, <laughs> I can get it. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Well, what about, what about your mom? What about your relationship with your mom? My mother is um, live and well. She's doing well. She's doing well. Just went there today to check on her. Uh, you know, like a good son, come take her out, go take her garbage out. You know the things that my grandmother and my grandfather taught me, what you should do for a lady and your queen, you know, things like that. Make sure mm -hmm. I check on her daily. Like, mm -hmm. Okay. That's dope. And you, you got a woman in your life then? Nah, you know, right now I'm trying to stay single with like a dollar bill and stay focused. You know, I don't, I don't want to bring, I don't want, I want to bring everything to the table just as much as I want everything to come to the table. So I want to be able to, you know, be that other half or that other support of that 100% to make 200%. So I just kind of focus on myself so I could be able to really shine shine real bright when it's time to turn off the light you seem like a player when the last time you was in a relationship uh about five five months i'm just a macaroni <laughs> <laughs> well then what's that a, a macaroni is uh a, a gent just pretty much a gentleman a, uh, a person that is willing to if i see a lady walking across the street i'm going to stop traffic or if i um need to hold the door or you pull out the chair or um, address somebody if they're coming uh, incorrect. I'm going to be able to step in and, you know what I'm saying, correct the situation. Okay. So what's the worst thing you've seen out here? Uh, probably uh, stereotyping. Um, that's pretty much it, stereotyping. And uh, I really don't want to say uh, anything else like what's the norm when it comes to African Americans, but pretty much stereotyping when, you know, you're doing you're doing what you need to do in the community and doing what you need to do as a man or as a, a, a human being, you know, sometimes you get the wrong type of look. They So I try to dress apart, act apart, and uh, just like that. So pretty much just, just the stereotyping, that, that's, that's the wildest stuff I always see. The wildest, the wildest stuff that I see on a on a norm. I normally see that on a norm. Yeah. Okay. So, you ever you, you ever get any altercations or anything like that out here? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You know, there's a lot of people that like to ch clout chase, and you know, that te that technically means if you have a a good name or you know. You, you people could vouch for you. They are like to, you know, try to try to say or do little small things to get under your skin. But I really don't play into it. I really don't play into it because, you know, I really don't want nobody to say that um, he did something to me or I did something to him over he say or she say I'm a direct person, not an indirect person. So I really don't be having those type of issues. But the but you know when you know how to address things you, i was always taught you can't do, you can't check it unless it's directed so i really don't have those type of issues these days but and i'm 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 older so i really understand stand what how you post to stand so i really don't fall too much into the 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 young generation where you have to be tough or you have to you have to poke your chest out or I gotta do this just so a person could respect you, you know. You gonna get that power and respect regardless as long as you conduct yourself accordingly. Okay, good. And, and how you say you say you older, how old are you? Man, I'm thirty six years old. I man, you look good for your age, man. Thirty six. But you know, I, I take what very care of myself, you know, I go to the gym, I eat I eat healthy, I think I think healthy, I don't put too much into my body maybe some remy or some some tequila 818 by kylie other than that i i try to not do anything that's gonna
prohibit my thinking my, my thinking mind or my thinking mentality because I don't want to be lacking or I don't want to be um, falling falling short to the success that we have in this world. Anybody, you could be anything and any anything as long as you are you have that type of that type of uh, left foot, right foot when you're walking and when you're talking, you can just do anything in this world, and that's a real American dream. So I, I, that's how I feel about it. Okay. Hey, and you got any kids? Yeah, I got some beautiful kids. My baby, she playing basketball. She on the starter team. She got a, a trophy trophy game coming up. My son, he's a football star. He, I tell him he want to play cornerback, but I tell him I like him to hit stuff, you know what I'm saying? So I want you to play like middle linebacker, but he a cornerback. And uh, my other baby, she a cheerleader. She wants to be like her mother. She like she like to make people happy and do things like that. Why your son like to hit stuff? Because <laughs> I, tell, I tell him like, I want him to be understanding when he in school, you got to focus. So when you want to take your frustrations out, it's a place and a time for that. So I want I try to put him into boxing and kick in Karate America, and he really not into that because he don't want to hurt nobody. He know that he could really hurt someone. So I tell him, you know, it's you could put some pads on, you know what I'm saying, and you could get get out there and you won't hurt nobody because everybody out there got the same thing. But if he's in karate or boxing, he know his hands is good, so he don't want to. He like that. I don't want to, you know, put my hands on nobody. Cause I'm gonna hurt him, and I tell him, yeah, you're right. You don't want to hurt nobody. You will always want to have somebody to. Or you always want people to always respect you without have to put their hands. You have to put your hands on them. So I just try to give him some good advice. And All right, guys, give us one second, guys. We're gonna pause this for one second. The officer come back. All right. Any luck with the insurance card at all? Uh, I haven't checked my text. Let me check my text real quick. Oops, sorry. We back. We back. Sorry. No, I was talking. I was talking to the mic. My bad. <laughs> All right, Corey. Here's your ID back for you, man. Mm -hmm. Looks like uh, the plates are suspended because of an unpaid parking ticket in Appleton here. Appleton. Yeah. So you'll have to reach out. To... I just moved here. I, I don't know. Did say when it's from? Doesn't. But it, a, a suspension will occur after not paying the parking ticket and it being so long. I couldn't tell you exactly how long it is, but ultimately. I haven't got ticketed out here. Spend it, so, so I contact the city and pay whatever amount. I think it says 80 bucks on there now, and that's because of the ticket plus the unpaid time lapse or delay fee type of deal. So I'd reach out to the city and see what you need to do to get that figured out so you can get your license plate on suspended. That is weird. I thank, thank you for, um, and they don't tell you the date when you this parking ticket know, occurred? They tell me where you were at when you got the parking ticket. Like when you it. But I can find that out, though, and just by yeah, calling. Yeah, City, you might, they might be able to tell you a little bit more, but I just don't have access to that on my end. All right. All right, man. Uh, I am just cutting you a warning today for the suspended plates. All right. Oh, thank you, man. Get that taken care of soon. Get that usually something you get a ticket for. All right. So just make sure you get that squared away. All right. I, w I will. I appreciate. And I, I do have to take him to the station yet, and and then I have to go to the grocery store. Well, I'll be fine with driving now until I can handle it. Technically, I can't permit you to be driving a car that has suspended tags. Hey, that's real, man. I appreciate that. What's your name? I know y'all don't shake hands much, but I'm Corey, man. I, you, you guys definitely had my nerves calm down a little more. I was just confused, but you explained things good and you're, you're legit. I appreciate that. All right, you too. All right, you too.